changing my oil today. Show you how to do it. It's always easier to remove the cap before jacking it up. Alright, let's try this again without interruptions. It's easier to remove the oil cap while the truck is on the ground. Now I'm going to jack it up. Always use a jack stand, never use a jack by itself. Now to remove the tire. Now it's time to get underneath the vehicle and remove the uh, nut.
that's it. That's all you have to do. Doesn't help. Helps be quick as well. It's also a lifesaver that the engine is cold and all the oil is settled at the bottom. Or else I would have burned the hell out of my hand. Now I'm going to remove the oil filter. Uh, I should be able to turn it by hand. set it on the thing to drain before you throw it away. Now I've talked to several people about this. You don't go higher with the oil viscosity at, with age. My vehicle has close to 100,000 miles on it. Everybody keeps telling me I should be going with 1040. You never do that. That's only a band-aid. That only solves the problem for right then and there. But it also makes things worse. Always stick with what it says on the engine. Mine says 5W20, so I'm using 5W20. You can use synthetic, you can use conventional, you can use synthetic or conventional mix. It doesn't matter. The engine doesn't really care. Okay, I use a K&N oil filter because it's the best one you can buy at this point in time. Royal Purple is the greatest one you can get. Always pre-fill your oil filter before putting it in the vehicle. I'm using Motocraft Synthetic Blend 5W20. This way you don't get dry start. Always use a clean finger or a clean glove. Put some oil on the rim. I spilled some in there, so I'm going to use it. Get some body work done on this vehicle, as you can see, by someone I really didn't like. But, I got because of that, I can't get the oil filter back in the way I used to. Always put the oil filter back in hand tight.
And that's the reason why I removed the tire. It's a lot easier to get the oil filter in and out. Also, my hands are now oily. And now you put the oil plug back in. Just make sure your oil plug is tight. Now I don't need the gloves for the next part, which is adding the oil to the engine. don't have a steady hand, always use a funnel. You should always use the funnel anyway because it'll save you from spilling oil all over the ground. This funnel I got right here saves me from having two people do this. Now you get to listen to the engine after I knock the camera over. Always remember to recycle your oil. Never dump it down a drain. <laughs>